water sports l4 expedition it's 14 feet long i think it is the largest paddleboard you can buy on the market it goes about 13 14 miles an hour on a non-windy day so the manufacturer recommends a two horsepower motor or trolling motor so i got a four horsepower mercury and there is it's probably a little over horsepowered this kind of bends up right here um but it hasn't ripped the transom off yet so we're good the board's twenty eight hundred dollars the motor was about fourteen hundred dollars it goes about 13 miles an hour top speed with weights distributed on the front end so for 4200 bucks or so you pretty much got a little skip so it's pretty much a small boat but i bought a paddleboard and then i wanted to make it into a boat so here we are the board itself weighs 65 pounds i can carry it get it off the roof of my jeep by myself non-issue carry it 30 40 50 yards you can get some wheels for it and carry it a couple hundred yards without the motor if once you put the motor on it motor's about 40 pounds and it's over 100 pounds with the gear and everything so it's a little rough to carry with the motor on it so really it all comes down to weight distribution on this which i don't have my tiller on here right now like an idiot so the motor has a notch in it prop is in the water but it still rides like crap you pretty much have to have it lowered all the way down 90 degrees or better for to really get on plane and not have any issues with planning out. So you got two rudders here, optional, but they're not optional. You pretty much gotta have them or you're gonna be going wiggly waggly every few feet. I haven't had the motor on without them yet, but you can pretty much not paddle this thing without those on it. Great for inshore fishing, great for inshore screwing around. I haven't taken it offshore yet, but we will get there eventually. So I've spearfished Gag Grouper on this thing. I've caught redfish, snook, went out and set some crab traps yesterday. The ultimate duck hunting rig. Inshore duck hunting, you want to go schlock some ducks. If it was camo, it'd be ideal, but you can throw some pawfrons over it. So you're not supposed to have a four horsepower motor on here because of this. So the motor yanks this transom up. There's a lot of torque on it and there's no screws in the middle. So you have a lot of pressure just going up. And I am afraid kind of that this will just rip out one day and I'll be motorless, but it hasn't happened yet. And I'm going to keep pushing it. recommend a motor that goes in reverse. You get in a lot of positions that you don't want to and you can pretty easily spin this thing around. 